apologize for the wait. There is no starting soon screen, sadly. So we will be waiting here a couple minutes to see if anybody really shows up. We're going to start now. So first, uh, I do apologize for the lack of background. Uh, I am no artist, and it is not exactly easy to find a decent background. Uh, so for now, uh, it will just be a black screen. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and, you know, look at the model. Uh, I will also say that the model is not the best, but it is a starting model to begin with. So please be aware that it may not look exactly good. So we'll start off with the feet, like everybody, everybody does, you know. Slowly. Oh, what's that? What's that purple thing? Is that a... Oh, that's a tail. Are those hands? Oh. Japanese. Oh, I can't read that. Going to the chest already. All right. Got a little, uh, little cross there, I suppose. You know, must be good luck or something. And, uh, you know, we got to gotta go a little bit, you know. We get to the mouth. Ooh. Ooh. I'm happy. I'm happy, guys. I'll, I'll say here and now, I'm happy. Happy to be here. Oh, there's my face. Ah, oh, and there's my hair. Zoom in a little bit. Here we go, guys. It is me. In basic glory. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous doing this. 
But you know what? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> it's it's okay to be nervous for the for something you do the first time, you know. Uh, we're just gonna, you know, look a little bit, look at, get a little bit closer, you know. Uh, you know, just so I can talk to you a little bit, a little bit better, you know. Uh, for example, we're going to uh, let's uh let's show my toggles first. Um, let's see. We got a blush toggle, you know, like everybody else else has. <laughs> uh, we have angry, very angry, very angry that this couldn't even be better. Ugh, I'll have, I'll have to, I'll have to be mad at my uh, my my rigor and my artist. Oh no. And we got confused. Where my rigor and artist? Who, who made me? Who made me? I need to know. I need to know right now. Okay. Alright. Um. Let's see. What else do we have? This one? Yeah. I'm uh, a little worried, you know? A little worried that this may not be exactly good. Um, yeah. Out of that, we got Scarred. I've seen stuff, but you don't want to know what I've seen. And we got. Oh! Why can't I? I can't see, guys. I've been flashbanged. Oh my god. I've flashbanged and I've seen some stuff. Oh no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, uh, now I think it is time to just shorten it down a little bit. And let's move on to, uh, bam. The PowerPoint that everybody uses for these uh, VTuber model thingies. Uh, my debut stream. I'm sure all of you can spell that out. Uh, let's just uh, go, you know. Let us see. Who am I? I am Ryujin Fukumoto. I'm a half human and half dragon VTuber from the distant past. Here to entertain others and regain my power. You see, I uh, I lost my powers. That will explain in my lore in a little bit. But at the moment, you just need to know that I have zero powers, basically. Uh, born centuries ago as a result of a knight and a dragon king falling in love and creating me. Don't question how that works. Wait until you're older. Uh, facts about me that I think, you know, everybody should know. Uh, my birth date is, uh, March 28th. Um, age, as you can see, I am centuries old. I am 190 centimeters, uh, six foot two for Americans like me. Uh, languages, I can speak English natively. Uh, I speak relatively decent Spanish. I am currently learning Japanese. Uh, I took a high school class in French, and I... Don't remember too, too much, but enough to kind of say hello and whatnot. Uh, and Korean, Thai, and Portuguese. I know very little words, not even enough to form a sentence, but if that even counts, as I have wrote in there. Uh, nickname, Prince. Uh, I, I've been called that by God knows how many people. Uh, so I just kind of, I'm kind of used to being called Prince. So I would, uh, you know. It's, it's better than uh, m what my name is now, Ryushin. That's uh, a little bit hard for some people to say. I know it is. Or even my last name. Uh, I'm going to, because I felt the need to, uh, for the other three languages, as you can see, I know English, so uh, I'll just say it in English. Uh, hello, I am Ryushin Fukumoto. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, and now I have 
the Spanish, the Japanese, and French that I know at least a little bit more about. So I'm going to introduce myself in those three languages. Uh, bonjour, je m'appelle Ayujun Sakamoto. Ravi de vous rencontrer. Uh, hola, mi nombre es Ayujun Sakamoto. Encantado de conoceros. Uh, konnichiwa, uh, Sakamoto Ayujun des. Hajimimashita. I had to practice that a lot because I was very scared I was going to mess that up. <laughs> I'll admit it, uh, it's been a bit saying saying uh, all that. Uh, now we go on to the lore. Everybody loves lore. <sighs> Alright. Uh, if y'all want to pause the stream and read it yourselves, go ahead. Uh, I'll wait a little bit, you know. Okay, now we can go. Uh, long ago, a knight from a nearby kingdom was sent out to slay the Dragon King. The knight and the dragon fought for days, neither of them letting up on their assault against each other. The two formed a relationship by being impressed by the other's strength and had a boy. That boy was treated like a complete abomination due to being two halves instead of a whole. One day, a girl around his age seemed not scared of him despite him being part dragon and easily capable of tearing her to shreds, befriended the dragon, who referred to him as a draconoid, since half human and half dragon did not exist. They became great friends, however. The townsfolk within the kingdom didn't quite like that and saw it as an act of treason. After a few weeks of them being around each other, he found out some shocking news. She had been poisoned. Very sad. Despite what the doctors could do, it was too late and she passed an illness. Uh, overcome with grief, uh, I hid myself away and uh, found myself in a cave where I decided to figure out some cures. I knew she was gone. I knew it. But I didn't want anybody else, really, that I could enjoy being around uh, dying from an illness as well. So uh, I decided to learn how to make stuff like potions. And now with that, uh, with potion making under my belt, I know a little bit of magic. So that's uh, that's pretty cool, you know, learning, learning a little bit of magic. Uh, coming back to the kingdom, it didn't look like a kingdom. That kingdom, there was so much more technology, I'm not going to lie. Uh, that was, that was vexing to me. Uh, I was, I guess I was gone for so long that the world is just completely different. It's, it's insane, you know? Uh, due to me being alone for so long, not being able to do what dragons do because I was stuck in a cave uh, making potions and doing magic you know not what dragons are are normally doing they're normally out and about you know being strong and and uh, fighting constantly and whatnot uh, yeah I I don't have my powers because uh, of me doing nothing I haven't really eaten much either uh, so it's why I look very 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 weak um, <laughs> um uh, I became far stronger than when I was a child. A chi uh, me as a child had far more strength than what I have now. Uh, and I want my strength and my honor. Because, uh, let's just say, you know, I didn't exactly go peacefully uh, after my, my friend died. Uh, so, I'm going to reclaim my honor as the Prince of the Dragons, as I am. Uh... With very little social interaction because, you know, the only interactions I had were my mother, my father, and one child when I was younger. Yeah, not very much, you know. And even now, I still struggle to communicate properly. So that's probably why I'm doing this. It's probably a lot easier for me. Uh, I struggle to keep my life afloat as I drift through this new world all by myself. And not the song. Uh, not even knowing if I'm even accepted. I don't know. Are dragons cool? Are dragons cool? I don't know. <laughs> I think dragons are pretty cool. They're pretty neat. A lot stronger than humans, I'll tell you that. Uh, and I say, I should mention, uh, I don't think I'm personally, I don't think personally I am half human, half dragon. I think I'm just human enough to have a human-like body. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm primarily dragon. Uh, yeah, with my tribe, uh, my dragon tribe, don't really work like that. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can't really. There's not really much to to really say. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, I I found a I found a computer that was working perfectly well. Uh, and I figured out uh how to how to function it a little bit, you know. Um. Uh, what else? Oh, I I fight villains, all to uh, threaten the people around me. And people have referred to me as the Dragon Prince, not knowing who I am, for real. So that's actually kind of funny. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest, because there's not a lot of people around me, to be fair. I fight villains who just kind of disturb my way of living. So, that kind of makes sense. Uh, I have, like, no friends. Yet. Uh, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure that'll... I'm sure I'll get friends eventually, right? Yeah. Let's... We can only hope, you know? Uh, moving on to my likes. Um, we have horror. Uh, I absolutely love horror. Um, I also love Pokemon. It's been a, it's been a thing for me, uh, for a bit. Um, we have the ocean. Uh, I love how soothing the ocean is, honestly. Um, animals, I love I absolutely love animals. I think animals are simply amazing. Uh, there's not much really to say without it being very obvious. Um, listening to people's opinions, even if they are simply incorrect. Uh, you can have you can have simply incorrect opinions. My opinion is always accurate. Everybody knows this. But I will I'll enjoy listening to your opinion, even if you are just simply incorrect. Uh, I like voice acting, uh, just for myself. I'm not an actual voice actor yet. I would love to be, though. That would be amazing. Uh, singing, I don't think I'm personally the best at it. People tell me I am actually pretty good at it. I do not think I am the best at it. Uh, moving on. <laughs> video games. Uh, I think, honestly, if I didn't like video games, why would I be here? Like, come on. Video games are like one of the... One of the main things everybody loves watching. Uh, I love all sorts of jokes. I do not care. They could be horrible, as in they are just a bad pun kind of thing. Or they can just be the most messed up thing in the world. I will probably enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy puzzles. I love puzzles. I love challenging my mind. I'd say I'm relatively smart. I wouldn't say I'm absolutely dumb. I think I'm relatively... Uh, decent in the brain area uh and i love telling stories and hearing other people's stories of you know what they do in life and even if it's something small i still enjoy it because it's it's an interaction uh yeah moving on to dislikes don't really don't really hate a whole lot i'm gonna be real uh any type of condiment except soy sauce uh soy sauce is good uh for my taste um, I do not like cockroaches. However, I do... I can't say I hate cockroaches. Uh, I used to. I used to actually have a horrible fear of them. Uh, mainly because one day it landed on my leg. On my foot, actually, when I was younger. And it scared me half to death. But, uh, I got older. And, you know, it's just not even... Oh my god, you know, I'm scared of it. I just don't like them. I kind of... It makes your skin crawl, you know? Or in my case, it... Uh, well, no, it makes my skin crawl. I look more I look more human with my, my body. I have no scales, except in the tail. Uh, not being able to understand stuff. I enjoy being able to have a conversation with anybody and understand what you're talking about. So, imagine my discomfort when I don't understand what you're talking about. It is just that simple. Uh, and stuff I enjoy, I hate being spoiled. Absolutely despise it. 
I see no need for me to get spoiled for stuff I enjoy. I don't spoil other people. They can't. They shouldn't spoil me. It's just that simple. Now, we move on to a little thing I call hot takes. We have two versions of it. This is the anime edition. Uh, for what I love, what I like, or that I think is okay, and what I hate or dislike. Uh, we'll start with the, the easiest one. What I hate and dislike. Uh, I have watched a good amount of anime, but I will say I do not remember half of them. So when I was putting this up together, I I had to I had to go deep in my brain to remember what I've even watched. And to my uh, to my knowledge, there is no anime that I have seen that I absolutely despise. Uh, what I like or what I think is okay, uh, cells at work, Dragon Ball I think is okay. Uh, I I like it, but I don't love it. You know, there's a difference. There's a difference. Like I'm not a diehard Dragon Ball fan. Uh, One Piece, I liked what little I saw, because uh, I know it's very, very long, uh, and I watched, like, the first 10, maybe 15 episodes. I said 10, but it could be, fi like, 15 a couple years back. Uh, Konosuba, I watched very little, but I did enjoy it, because I I like that stupid uh, isekai kind of stuff. Kill a Kill, I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Soul Eater, uh, I would be in my love, because I really do love Soul Eater. I think it was amazing, but I never finished it, so I just kind of put it in my my okay like because you know it could it could change. I think I only finished the first season and watched maybe the first half first quarter of the second season. Um, now we go on to the loves. Uh, you know what I love absolutely. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into gory anime. I'll, I'll I'll say it right here, right here and there, uh, and I just like the idea of JoJo. I guess the stands and even before that, the Hamon and whatnot. If you guys even understand what I'm saying about it, uh, Sailor Moon. I personally am a fan of Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon. Man, as a kid, I wished I could have been Sailor Moon. Even though you know Sailor Moon is a woman, I could have been a very womanly man, being Sailor Moon. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if that makes sense. Uh, no game, no life. I thought that show was funny as hell, so that was in my love category. I absolutely loved it. I want more, but sadly, I don't think they're ever gonna make more. Uh, and Neon Genesis Evangelion. I watched. Okay, because I know there's a lot. There's a lot of this of Evangelion. I will say the original Evangelion. I do not. I watched two movies. Apart from the regular Evangelion. And I could be wrong. Maybe there is more. But I only saw what there was on Netflix. Uh, and I watched it pretty recently, I'll admit. Um, yeah, no, it was... Uh, uh, I will say that the movies, I did not really understand. One of them made more sense. The other was just a recap of everything I watched. And I was like, that's stupid. And I wasted my time for it. <laughs> um, now we move on to anime I haven't watched but I've considered watching Yu Yu Hakusho I've heard so much of this that I was like let me watch it eventually uh, same thing with a lot of these like Chainsaw Man Jujutsu Kaisen Spy X Family uh, Inuyasha is, a, is an oldie you know uh, B-Stars I just like the opening so I figured, oh, you know, it may not be that bad. I don't know how bad it is. Uh, I would, I would like to know. It's on Netflix, so I might, I might watch it eventually. Like, I think most of these animes, I think most of these am uh, animes, like just the first, maybe the second season, are on Netflix. Uh, and then many others that I can't remember. Lamau. Uh, Hot Takes the Video Games Edition. Uh, I absolutely dislike SNK Heroine. And that is not a series. Well, SNK is a series. Uh the specific game is not a uh actual like series, uh one of the games. Uh I have it for the Switch. I'm going to be completely real. I have it on my Switch. Uh I absolutely despise it and it's not because it's a bad game. Uh there's just not a whole lot to enjoy. There is like 
let me think. There's like four DLC characters. Okay, that's fine. I bought one of them when I first got that, I think two years ago. Uh, there's not a whole lot of moves to really use. Uh, the story for every single character is the same. It's just not fun. It wasn't fun for me. Um, then we got the okay is and likes. Uh, I've been playing Tao Hao. Toho? I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, correct me if you guys know. Uh, anybody that's watching anyways. Um, what else can I say about it? Oh, I played, I granted, I only played one game. And I found out there's like 26 different ones. I played a remaster of number three, I want to say. Friday Night Funkin'. And I know that sounds really cringe uh, to a lot of people. But I genuinely just think uh, people are creative with their mods. Uh, so I just kind of like it. I just kind of like the mo uh, the songs, not really the people, you know? You kind of you kind of got to learn to uh kind of separate the people and uh the yeah, you got to separate the people from the game, you know? Kind of stuff. Uh which we'll we'll get to that where I sound like a hypocrite uh for that one. Uh we have a Doki Doki Literature Club. I enjoyed that game when I played it. Uh Yuri is best girl. Don't at me because uh your opinion, as I said before, your opinion is just simply incorrect. Mine is the only correct uh answer. Yada yada yada. Uh, Monopoly, uh, I enjoy Monopoly, I think it's fun, uh, I love watching anybody that I play with just get mad and not understand how Monopoly works, which you'd be surprised, uh, and Skullgirls, here's where, uh, I get, uh, into being a hypocrite, as I just said about Friday Night Funkin', <laughs> uh, Skullgirls, you know, is a, is an amazing game, I absolutely love the game, the music is phenomenal, I'm a fan of jazz, um, I do despise one part because originally Skullgirls was a love. I loved Skullgirls. Now it it went down to a to a like. I like it. It's not horrible. You know the gameplay is really smooth and everything. The only th one of the main things that I hate about it is the people who are in charge of it now. Um, yeah, some stuff. You know they they changed. They took out some stuff. You know that's fine. I I'll admit when I first got when I first saw that they were changing stuff and taking stuff out, I was like, oh, you know, what are they taking out? You know, because you know, why would you take it out? You know, some of it was really uh, simple stuff. You know, that's fine. I don't really care. Um, one thing that I absolutely despised was that they took out the what did they, what was it? Um, a, it's not a. I'm gonna say picture book, but it wasn't a picture book. It was a digital. A digital book full of like drawings that pe that fans made that they originally had um, that you could buy. I didn't buy it when I got Skullgirls on my Switch. I'm gonna say that again. I got it on my Switch because I recently got uh, a computer, so I don't really have a whole lot, and I'm very I'm very uh broke. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of money to really do stuff. Otherwise, I'd be doing stuff left and right, you know. Um. But Skullgirls, uh, amazing game, just kind of hate the people, and uh, if you don't know about that drama, make sure you, like, literally just look it up. Like, people talked about it all the time. They're, they're the, the new people that, uh, you know, and I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it because uh, if uh, this gets taken down for whatever reason because I'm talking shit, uh, I don't want that. <laughs> now we go to my loves, what I absolutely love, my favorite games that I will play. Pokemon, absolutely, as I said. Pokemon was something I even liked in general. I like it so much that it's just in my general likes, even outside of video games. Uh, I love Yo-Kai Watch, which is very similar to Pokemon, but it's not Pokemon, guys. Uh, I'm absolutely disappointed uh, that we we kicked Yo-Kai Watch out too soon in America. We could have had Yo-Kai Watch 4. Uh, I'm currently learning Japanese just to play Yo-Kai Watch. That's one of the main things I'm uh, main reasons why I am. Wanting to learn Japanese. I want to play Yo-Kai Watch 4. I love I love the original one when it came out, I think, 2015. God, that came out almost... That came out nine years ago. God, I'm old. Okay. Uh, Yo-Kai Watch 2, phenomenal. Uh, I think every that was everybody's uh, favorite in, in America, from what I gathered. When I was, uh, when I was playing Yo-Kai Watch 3, 
uh, people were like, yeah, this game kind of sucks. And I was like, why? Yo-Kai Watch Free is pretty cool. We get to go to America. We get to go to our own country, guys, where everybody talks like a southerner. Uh, not joking for those who have never seen Yo-Kai Watch Free. Uh, they go to America instead of uh, in Japan. They have one pers one main character in Japan, uh, the main main character in America, and everybody talks like a southerner. Uh, which is it's kind of funny to me considering I am a southerner. But uh, anyways, uh, Sonic Colors. I literally love this game only due to nostalgia. Otherwise, I don't think I would. I think it would be my like because I liked it. But I think I, I think I put it in love just because of how nostalgic it was for me. Um, it was my first Sonic game. And the music was amazing. Uh, so I, I tend to I tend to hear I'm not a big, big Sonic fan. I will say that right out. I'm not a big, big Sonic fan. I, I like Sonic. Sonic's cool and everything. I don't hate him, you know, but he's he like Sonic in general I think would be in my, my like. You know, he's pretty cool. Uh I've only played very few Sonic games to be fair. I played Sonic Colors. Uh Black Knight, Sonic and the Black Knight, I think it is. Yeah, because uh, that was uh, where he goes. Uh, he gets transferred to medieval times. God, I love telling this story every time. Uh, so I'm gonna say it now. Uh, one time, uh, with my th this is uh, obviously not uh, Ryushin, more like the me me talking. Um, I just I have I have a little brother, a little cousin. And they used to live, they used to live with me. Um, and basically what happened was that they were struggling to beat Percival, which was Blaze in the, the knight in Shining Armor or whatever. Um, and, you know, I heard them struggling while I was in my room just, I think, playing Pokemon, knowing me. And, you know, I go up to them, you know, I ask them what's wrong and everything. They're like, oh, my God, this, this boss battle is it's too hard. And I said, okay, let me try. I had no idea how to play the game. I literally swung once. I beat her, and they treated me like I was, like, a king for, like, a week. And it was the funniest thing. And I still laugh at it, laugh about it every now and then when I tell them, when I mention it to them. They're just like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, Super Smash Bros., uh, I have been playing Smash Bros. since Brawl came out. Uh, I have played the, the, the first and second games, you know, Melee and the original Smash Bros. But Brawl was the one I started with. Uh, Fire Emblem, I will completely admit, uh, I am one of those people who literally got into Fire Emblem because of Smash Bros. Uh, it was Ultimate. Yeah, Ultimate. Uh, when I was introduced to Krom. And Lucina was in Smash 4, and I did play Smash 4 on my 3DS. But, like, I didn't really care as much, I guess. I think it was, like, Krom. You know, seeing Krom and Lucina, Robin, Ike, Roy, you know, Marth. So many of them. This was way before buy list, by the way. This was, like, when Ultimate basically came out. And I bought Awakening because I saw Krom and Lucina uh, on it, on the box. So I was like, okay, let me, let me buy that one. I played it, you know, I absolutely loved it. And then I bought Fates with Corrin, and then I bought Three Houses when that came out before it was added to Smash as a DLC character for Byleth. Uh, and then I bought older games. Right now, I'm still playing through Binding Blade with Roy. I'm on Chapter 8. Uh, but anyways, uh, Mario Kart. I uh, absolutely love Mario Kart. Uh, there were, there could have been a million more games that I could have put on this list, but I wanted to keep it kind of somewhat short. Uh, and there was one that was kind of in between my okay and like and my hate and dislike, and it's, uh, Mario Party. And it's absolutely because I just try to have fun, and then I play with people who know, like, inside and out for this game. And it's just insane. Uh, moving on. Games I haven't played, but I've considered playing because I want to play them. But I'm poor, so I can't I can't afford them yet. <laughs> but I will get them. Uh, with the exception of Apex Legends, that is a free game, I am aware. And Yu-Gi-Oh! There's a Yu-Gi-Oh! COD game on Steam that's free as well. Uh, Monster Hunter. My brother and my cousin do play Monster Hunter. And I've seen a little bit of their gameplay. You know, kind of interested. Uh, I never told it to their faces until, I think, a couple days ago when I was telling them, Hey, I want to play Monster Hunter. Uh, any Chilia's art. I absolutely love Chilia's art. Their horror games are phenomenal. I've only seen, I think, two of their games. And I've seen 
like thumbnails and whatnot of other games. Uh, I I tend not to watch them as much as people play them because I genuinely want to be I genuinely want to be scared, you know. Um, uh, like uh, parasocial, I've seen very little of. I th what what's the one that I have seen? Oh my god, I've seen it like completely. Oh, uh, night security. Night security is is phenomenal. I love watching it every now and then, just just so I can see people uh, scream. I absolutely love it when uh, people start screaming. Um, what else? We got Ace Attorney. Uh, I just like the i. Uh, I just like Ace Attorney. I like Phoenix Wright. He's cool, you know. He seems like a dude I, I'd, I'd get a drink with, kind of thing. Uh, Team Fortress Two, which I know is also free on Steam, but uh, I've never played it, so it's uh, I've considered playing it. <laughs> um. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, like I said, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, I play Pokemon, uh, and I figured, uh, because I think a couple months ago, I l finally learned, uh, as an adult, I finally learned, because as a kid, I did not know how the card game worked, but I finally learned, as an adult, how the card game worked, so I'm willing to play Yu-Gi-Oh, even though it's probably harder to understand, um, and I have a friend that is willing to teach me, but we never really got into it yet, so, uh, we'll get to it eventually, uh, Pizza Tower. I have, like, no idea what really Pizza Tower is. I've just, I've heard so many good things. Uh, I have a couple friends who played it, and they were like, oh, my God, it's it's fantastic. And they were upset that uh, they lost, I think, the Game Awards. I think last year. I don't remember. And they lost to a game that n not a lot of people have heard about. I don't remember. I don't watch the Game Awards. I'll be real. Metal Gear. Uh, Metal Gear is really cool. Solid Snake. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think uh, I really got into more Metal Gear stuff because of, you know, freaking Smash Bros. and whatnot. Uh, Brawl, you know, that's how I was introduced to Solid Snake. Uh, Colonel. Uh, there's my song. <laughs> there's my, uh, my Colonel. You know? <laughs> um, yeah, Brawl kind of got me into some other games that I kind of play now. Uh, Smash Bros. in general, honestly. Not just Brawl. But, uh... Uh... Yeah, my I'm just now realizing my voice probably sounds really dead. Uh, I will say I was screaming a couple hours ago uh, before stream so that I could I could be calm. You know, uh, <laughs> I was really nervous and uh, I figured, you know what, let me play some Smash Bros uh, and just scream at the screen. You know, making making stupid jokes. Uh, but Metal Gear, yeah. <laughs> what else is there to say about Metal Gear? Uh. I love it. Uh, I love the style of Metal Gear. I'm not a. I've never really played stealth games. I will say that now. I've never played a stealth game. Um, but I would love to play Metal Gear because I know it's like one of the. The the best Metal Gear games, you know. Or <laughs> that made no sense. Okay. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Let's just move on. Pretend that didn't happen. Uh, Apex Legends. Uh, I know some people love it. Some people hate it. I've never played it. Uh, I've seen very little gameplay of it. I don't know how the controls work or anything. I want to play it only with friends. Only with people that I that I will talk and play with. Uh, Hollow Knight. My little brother played it. And he recommended it to me. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. We'll play Hollow Knight eventually. Uh, Devil May Cry. My, my little cousin plays this game, I think. I think he does. I think he plays the fifth game. I don't remember. I know he plays God of War. I don't remember if he plays anything else. Uh, but Devil May Cry, I, I've always, I, I, I kind of like Dante and Virgil, you know, they're pretty cool. Uh, Don't Scream is a specific uh, horror game where if you scream, uh, you restart the entire game. Some people don't like that, some people do. Uh, I do not care, I will beat the game without screaming. I want to scream though. Uh, and many other games that I can't mention because there is so much space that I could have done. As I'm looking at my PowerPoint, I probably could have written more. Uh, more. But I didn't, so we're just going to move on. We got my goals, you know. Goals are pretty cool. Uh, you know, everybody's got to have some goals, you know. Uh, voice act in something. I don't care if it is a game or an anime. I would love it to be a game or an anime, but even comic dubs are fine. Uh, on YouTube, I want to gain at least 50 subs. Uh, you know, just, you know, something small. Twitch, I want to gain at least 100 in total. That would be amazing. Uh, from what I saw before I started stream, I got two subs on Twitch. So that, you know, that's, uh, that's 125th of the way there. You know, that's pretty cool. 
uh, to the two people uh, <laughs> that follow me, if you guys watch it, make sure you uh, recommend me to your friends, you know? Because uh, we're going to be... We're going to be streaming uh, this entire week. This entire week, every day, we're going to be streaming. Uh, becoming a better me in general. Oh, wait, I skipped one. But becoming a better me in general. Uh, I personally think I'm not the best person in the world. I would love to be a better person in the world. <laughs> um, catching every single shiny Pokemon in existence. I know there are some people that have basically done that. I am not one of them. <laughs> I did not start shiny hunting till I was like... I want to say 15 or 16. That's been a couple years. Uh, it started... Uh, I'll tell a story. I'll tell a story. Uh, my first shiny Pokemon was when I was like, I think 12. I want to say 12. No, wait. Hold on. It was back in 2016. It was back in 2016. I was a kid. I was a child. Uh, I will say that now. I will not say my actual age, but I was a child. Uh, freaking yeah. Uh, I was playing Pokemon X and Y. Playing Pokemon Y to be more precise, and you know, uh, I went to for the shiny. Uh, for people who actually play Pokemon and I've actually played the game that I'm talking about, Pokemon Y. Uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, for those that don't, uh, just just uh, you'll get you'll get it eventually. Um, so I was playing Pokemon Y, and there was a fossil location, uh, restoration place. Uh, that made no sense, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, next to the uh next door to it is Route Eight. Uh, that you can go into a cave called Amberit Cave, and you can use the T the HM Rock Smash, and destroy rocks and get fossils. Uh, I constantly did that as a kid because I thought, oh, restor uh, restoring ancient Pokemon from the the dead that must be cool. So I did it, you know. And then you know after my day was done there, I I went back to the the restoration place, and you know I was. Getting some of the Pokemon, some of the, uh, most of them were Ammonite, because that was like the more the more common uh, fossil I was getting, and you know I tend to look at them uh, always. I tend to always go into my box after I've done, you know, so I can just kind of see them alive and whatnot. And then I found a purple one, a purple Ammonite instead of it being blue, and I thought that was weird. So naturally, like from what I've been told, most people will release the Pokemon thinking, "Oh, my game is bugged," or you know, the Pokemon itself is bugged. I had to search it up because I enjoy searching it up and knowing what is happening. I found out it was a shiny Pokemon, that it was rare, and I was so happy. I still have it to this day. I don't think I ever named it, though. It's just, you know, uh, it's, I think it's an Omastar now. I don't know. Uh, but Ammonite was my first shiny Pokemon. And considering that I'm a fan of water and psychic type Pokemon, even though it's not a psychic, it has a water rock, uh, it is water, so it's good for me. Uh, I absolutely love water type Pokemon and psychic type Pokemon. Uh, I just love them. Espeon is my favorite psychic type Pokemon. I will say that now. Water type, uh, probably Totodile if I had to say a Pokemon. But don't, uh, I, w I wouldn't go absolute Totodile. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love Totodile, but I don't know if he's my absolute favorite. He's my absolute favorite for now, for water type. Uh, I should probably make a list eventually and show it to, to everybody. Whatever. Uh, make at least one original song. I know some people that, you know, for their debut streams, you know, they made their original song with the debut or, you know, they released it maybe a week later. I have no musical talent. I will just say that now. Uh, I do want to learn instruments, which I think should have been my goal. One of my goals, you know, that would have been cool. Uh, probably like guitar or something, maybe drums. I don't know. Um, but yeah, like I have an idea for it for an original song but i need a beat i need lyrics i need music you know and i suck at literally all of those <laughs> so if we get if we do get an original song it ain't till way later way later in life probably at least two years from now if i'm even still here <laughs> uh learning all i can from people everywhere i want to know where you're from i want to know what's customary in your country if you are not american even if you are American, if you're from a different state than me, I want to know what is different in that state. I want to know everything that you can tell me about that state or country. I do not care. <laughs> Travel to different countries, mainly Japan, because Japan is the, the birthplace of VTubers and shit. So naturally, you know, you'd, you'd probably want to go there. This is kind of what I do. <laughs> 
Uh, but Japan, I've always wanted to visit, even as a kid. I think as a kid, I originally wanted to go to Japan just because of anime. But as I got older, I stopped kind of watching anime as much. So I was just like, I think I just want to go for the culture. And I just like the idea of going to another country. And Japan has just always been in my mind forever. <laughs> uh, eventually, I will go to Japan. Eventually. I have no idea when, but eventually. <laughs> Me, people, because I'm socially awkward unless I know people. That's I think, is actually kind of worded a little weird now that I think about it. Um, so, obviously, uh, I am very socially awkward. Uh, I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm very talkative when it's around when it's around new people i think when i know okay uh let, let me think most of my friends are pokemon fans so you know if you can find something to talk about with me uh i'll get better but i am very socially awkward i am horrible at start starting conversations unless it's about something like pokemon and i know that person is into pokemon Hell, I think I struggle sometimes talking to my family. Like, I, I like my, my parents, I think I struggle to talk to them sometimes. And I think it's just because I have no idea what to talk about. Yeah, that's very bad, honestly. I'm, I'm hearing myself now, and that's just not good. <laughs> uh, anyways, last goal uh, that I have wrote here. Learn Japanese, because obviously, if I want to go to Japan, it would probably be smart to understand the language and speak it a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm learning very little. <laughs> little by little, you know? Uh, and then we finally have... Oh, wait, no. We have this and one more slide. Sorry. Uh, additional things to mention. Uh, my Oshimok is just a dragon with a crown, you know? Uh, not, not, not very hard to understand. The dragon prince it makes sense. I am royalty, and I am a dragon. Uh, I have no idea what fan name we could come up with. Uh, literally any help is fine. <laughs> this model was created uh, was created and rigged by yours truly. I suck at it. I know. Uh, like I said, uh, I was getting I was gonna get mad uh, at my uh, my my mom and pop uh, and the you know the creator and the rigger. Uh, that was me. <laughs> I created myself. I think, uh, yeah, we could say, like, probably, like, God. Yeah, God God made himself, right? I think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to, we're just going to say that for for, for the, the sake of this. Uh, yeah, you know, I made myself. I created myself. I can move by myself, you know. Uh, I tend to say lol or lamau a lot. It's just, I don't know. I think those are just funny. I tend to say more lamau than uh, lol. And I do say it out loud like that. I don't be like, oh, laugh out loud. Huh? Or laughing my ass off. No, I'll say it like lol or lamau. I do not care. Um, those are really those are really things uh, that are worth mentioning here. Uh, and then we have, finally, the schedule for the week. Uh, today, as you can see, we are doing the VTuber debut stream. Obviously, right now. Otherwise, you, know, you probably wouldn't even be hearing this. Uh, then we have tomorrow. We have Minecraft at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, yeah, everything is at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just to, just so you guys can see. Tuesday, we have uh, a date with death, you know. We just, we were just basically created, and now we're, uh, we're dating death, you know. Uh, uh, life and death, you know, they go hand in hand, you know. I'm basically a newborn, and death is coming. Take me on a date. That sounds interesting. Okay. <laughs> Pokemon Showdown. Uh, very standard. Probably just random battles, Gen 9, Gen 8, maybe. Um, first day, Genshin Impact. For the very first time, I've never played Genshin Impact. And, uh, yeah, when I was thinking of stuff to actually do stuff, I caved. I had no idea what to do for first day. So I just said, Genshin Impact is good enough for me. I want to try it. Uh, and I just want to mention, because I found out there's some been, there's been some recent drama with Genshin Impact. I had no idea until after I had gotten my schedule for the week. So that is not my fault if <laughs> if something bad happens. <laughs> I'm just going to be completely real with you guys. Uh, Friday, we have Japanese Duolingo. You guys get to watch me just do Japanese lessons. And I'm very basic. So, And then Saturday is just chatting. You know, just chatting about the week. You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
Uh, I should mention that I plan it could there's no guarantee but i plan on streaming with the exception of today and probably saturday uh monday through friday i plan to stream at, for at least i want to say at least two hours probably i want to try and reach three because i've seen that that is kind of the common number for uh, streams uh saturday as you is just chatting that that will probably last an hour and a half maybe two hours if we get it there it'll just be talking about you know what what's happened this week for you know for this for the channel and uh maybe maybe i talk about a little bit of my life you know you get to know a little bit more about me you know or you know what happened during my week outside of streaming kind of stuff but um that's really it you know now we just kind of we just kind of got me yeah, we don't really uh, ah, we don't really have a whole lot, you know, <laughs> you know it's uh, it's small, right now, you know our, our entire place is small, but you know what we can we can build this, we can we can build an army, you guys will be, my my soldiers, you know, maybe we should say something about uh my fan name being like something about soldiers maybe I don't know. No, I'm thinking chess. I'm thinking chess. I was about to call you my guy, guys my pawns. No, that sounds mean. That sounds mean. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to be mean to y'all. <laughs> I ain't trying to call y'all pawns, bro. No, that sounds wrong. Uh, frick. I don't really know what else. Yeah, we'll we'll come up with a name. We'll come up with a name eventually. Um, I don't really know. Uh, what else can I do? I can do I don't know what I can do. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I have no idea what else I can do. I guess I wasn't planning for this to be like insanely long. Uh I'm gonna, I'm going to be completely honest. My brain was thinking, "Oh, I'm going to speed past this because I'm so nervous." I was I was nervous. I'm still nervous. <laughs> but um you know, it's pretty good, pretty good. Um yeah, we got a pretty good uh, schedule, I'd say, you know. Uh, I don't really know what to say as like an ending thing, you know. This is a, this is my first time ever streaming. I'll be completely real with you guys. So I have I have no idea how to do this shit. <laughs> um, I gotta think of a freaking ending thing to say, you know. Uh, I guess I could just literally say like bye and. And, and stuff, you know, you know, people tend to say just buy and shit. Uh, but um, I I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I guess like bye, <laughs> good goodbye. I don't know. Uh, goodbye. Uh, how how do you say? What should he say? Uh, adios. <laughs> I forgot how to say bye in Spanish for a second. <laughs> I was like, como se dice? Uh, adios, adios. Uh, bye, adios. Au revoir. Au revoir. I think, I think that's how you pronounce it. I think I'm bad at French pronunciation. I'm gonna be real. Um. I'm forgetting how to say bye in Japanese. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, what else? <laughs> uh, I think that's really it. <laughs> uh, well, this has been uh, very enlightening. I'll, I will I will say right now. Uh, I hope to see more of you eventually. Uh. Yeah, there's not really much else to say. Uh, I hope to see you guys again. I just said that. God, I am just repeating myself because I have no idea how to end this. Um, I do hope you guys enjoy anything that you will see here on my channel because I think uh, I think this will be fun for you and me, you and I. We'll, we'll we'll be more proper with it. You and I. Um. 
yeah, that is uh, that's it. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna kind of cut it. You know. <laughs> okay. Bye.